Hey guys, what's up? The Android Mind here and in today's video I'm doing a quick video on a mod that I found, a Too Many Items mod. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big massive thumbs up if you enjoyed and let's just get into the video. Alright then guys, so as you can see right here there is a floating pickaxe on my screen. That is the mod menu. So as you can see I'm on creative right now. If I go ahead and open this up, you can see everything that it'll let you do. You can change your game from survival, as you can see I'm in survival right now, and you can change it back to, to creative as quickly as that. You can change it from day to night, um, from night to day, and you can also turn it, turn rain on. So as you can see, and you get a message popping up saying that rain will turn into snow in a snow biome. And you can also put lightning on. Um, if I change back into survival, you can also change how many XP levels you have, so that's pretty cool as well. You can change it so that you can fly in survival, which is also very cool. And you can change it so that you're invincible in survival. So if I go ahead and fly up, as you can see, I have one, oh, let me, let this, just wait for my hearts to regenerate and then I'll show you. So if I go down, uh, no hearts disappear because I'm invincible. So that's pretty cool as well. And if you go over to the enchant section, you can choose a weapon or piece of whatever to enchant. So if I want to enchant a diamond sword, I could press this and I could say, um, I don't know, I want to give this sharpness level 3 with knockback level 1 or whatever, and then you add it and then it'll be in your thing as you can see sharpness 2 knock back 1 so that's pretty cool as well very fast way to enchant your weapons if you're playing on survival um, you can add any item that you want basically you can search up for the item id or you can just go through everything and search for what you want and there is some items on here that you wouldn't be able to normally get um, I think anyway um, I don't know uh, you'd have to go through and just look at all these, these things that you can get so you would choose one you want, say if I wanted some grass um, blocks and I wanted 16 of them and then I wanted um, some logs as well I could add and then it would add 16 of them both into my inventory. So that's pretty cool, very quick way to get things in survival. Um, so yeah, that's another cool thing. Also you can go down to mobs and spawn mobs that you might want to have. So say if I wanted to spawn myself a pig. If I want to spawn 32 pigs, 32 pigs will start to spawn, which is pretty cool. Um, let me just move out of the way of all these pigs right now. Let's go ahead and kill some of them with this sword. Pretty cool. There we go. Um, so yeah, there we have 32 pigs right in front of us. And the same will work for anything that's on there. And, and in your pack, this is what is inside of your inventory. So as you can see, I have all this. So you can get rid of things out of here. Like you can delete it, say if I want to delete all this, go back, as you can see it's now gone. So that's also very cool to get rid of things very quickly. And you can also set, set a teleport point. So say if you had like a house somewhere on survival and you wanted to always teleport back um, to that house. Let me just make a little thing right here. Okay, the piggy's not going to let me. Okay, alright then piggy. So say if this is my very rubbish little house right here, this is my little house and I want to teleport back to here. So all I have to do is go over to teleport and I press add teleport and you name it whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to call this one home and press done and then you press confirm. And then say if I move over here, let's move all the way over here and then if I want to go back to my house, I press home and I'll be teleported there. So yeah, that, that's pretty cool. And as you can see, I already added another teleport in, which is called teleport one. So it just teleported me over here. Let's just go back to home. As you can see, very quick, very, very simple. That is something that's really good. And if I'm honest, I think that should be added into Minecraft anyway. Um, I think it's in PC, not too sure, but I think that's really, really cool. And last but not least, we have the section that says screenshot. So you can just take a screenshot like that and it'll say screenshot is taken and it's now saving. So yeah guys, that is basically it. So to actually install this mod guys, you need to go ahead to the link in the description and it'll redirect you to the Play Store and you can download an application called MCPE Master. Once you have MCPE Master, press on it to open it up and then it'll load up like this 
and you can look at all the other stuff like maps, skins, textures, seeds and more PE which I write all these things at the top but all we're bothered in is the controller button right in between the home and the import button so you press the controller button and then it'll load up Minecraft um, and you'll have the floating window right there so yeah guys that's how you actually install the mod I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next video guys Bye.